John Silver is definitely a fan favorite. His in-ring ability, coupled with the fact that he's absolutely hilarious have separated him from the crowd, and despite not looking like your stereotypical pro wrestler, he's managed to make a name for himself. But, what else do we know about John? Let's find out. Number 10. Silver and Reynolds go way back. It seems that this duo magically happened to click so well, with the two having great chemistry. But there's actually a very good reason for that. John and Alex have been friends for more than a decade now. Silver and Reynolds had the same trainer, Mikey Whipwreck, and that's how they met. Shortly after his debut, John wrestled Alex for the first time, and in 2011 they would finally team up, often using the name The Beaver Boys, or The Slop Hunters. They wrestled as a team for multiple promotions all over the world, including Evolve, Beyond Wrestling, Ring of Honor, New York Wrestling Connection, CZW, and Pro Wrestling Guerrilla. They also captured tag team gold in the last three promotions I just mentioned. Number 9. The saying goes, good friends, better enemies? After being a tag team on and off for many years, the Beaver Boys broke up eventually. It happened in 2017 during an encounter between John Silver and future NXT star Joe Gacy. Alex Reynolds was one of Gacy's masked men. It seems like Gacy always liked to be a puppet master. So anyway, Silver and Reynolds started a feud, with the two interfering in each other's matches, and also choosing each other's opponents. Finally, the two settled their differences in an intense main event ladder match, in September 2018, at CZW Down with the Sickness. Did the famous Disturbed song just pop up in your head, or is it just me? Anyway, Silver came out victorious and established himself as a legit CZW main event guy. Side fact, the show also featured fellow All Elite Wrestling star Max Caster, Anthony Green and Ace Austin. Number 8. He became a viral meme, and I really mean viral. When you hear the word meme, certain templates pop up in your mind, and most of the time you have no idea who these people are. That's what's probably happening with John Silver and Anna Jay. I've seen this meme everywhere, not just in pro wrestling related pages, and I doubt that non-wrestling viewers know that these people are actually appearing on television. I don't know about you, but it kinda makes me feel special being one of the few that knows the origin of this meme. Oh my god, Anna, oh my wrist is so much. I can't do it, Anna. Oh my god. Can you believe that? Don't worry about it, Anna. Alex? He went home too. I don't know. He's still not answering my calls. I don't know what he's doing, eh? What is Alex doing, huh? Eh? Right, Anna? 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 I don't know where Andrew is. I don't know where Alex is. I don't know where Hangman is. I don't know where my son is. Where's my son? Where's my son, Anna? 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 Where's my son? <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. His age, weight, real name and more. I usually say that there are very few wrestlers that use their real names as their work names, but actually, the more I keep doing these videos, the more I realize that this is only true in WWE. John Silver is another guy who uses his real name inside the ropes. Let's see some other names that he has used. Johnny Silver, Rob Grimes, The Shard, Little Brutus, and, wait for it, Mustard Boy. Despite his height, which we're going to talk about in a few seconds, John weighs 178 pounds, or 81 kilos for my European brothers. On the other hand, it's not that big of a surprise if you actually notice how muscular he is. I've seen him build from both Long Island and Philadelphia, but he was actually born in Wonton, New York. He was born on June 4, 1991, which means that he's 31 years old. He debuted in 2007, at the very young age of 16 and he's already a 15-year veteran. Number 6. And now, the other statistic we talked about. Let's talk about Johnny's height. I'll let you make a guess before I reveal it. Are you ready? The answer is 5 feet 5 inches, or 165 centimeters. Another question that pops up, is he the shortest male wrestler in all elite wrestling? Well, currently yes. A few months ago, it was Marco Stunt, who stands at 5 feet 2 inches, or 157 centimeters. These guys prove that your size doesn't determine your success, as they both made it to the big leagues, even if Marco's run is over now. Number 5. His professional wrestling past. John has been a pro wrestler half of his life, and he has wrestled almost everywhere. As we already mentioned, 
He has wrestled for multiple promotions all around the globe. Aside from his tag team accomplishments, his most notable singles achievement has to be his CZW World Heavyweight title reign. On April 13, 2019 at Best of the Best 18, Silver defeated Fred Yehi, I hope I pronounced that right, Gary J, and fellow All Elite Wrestling star Chris Statlander, in a four-way quarterfinal match, by forcing Jay to tap out. In the semifinal, he faced and defeated Jordan Oliver. In the final, Silver faced the previous year's winner, David Starr. John ended up winning the tournament, as well as the CZW World Heavyweight title. His run came to an end at the hands of Joe Gacy, in a triple threat match on September 13, at Down with the Sickness. Silver was defeated by Gacy, in a three-way match also involving Claxton, which ended his reign at 153 days. Number 4. His World Wrestling Entertainment Past John Silver has worked as an extra for WWE on three different occasions. On June 17, 2012, at No Way Out, John, under the ring name Rob Grimes, wrestled in a two-on-one handicap match against Ryback. A few years later, he also appeared on NXT, on March of 2018, and he wrestled Lars Sullivan in a losing effort. On the September 10, 2019 episode of SmackDown, under the slightly changed ring name Johnny Silver, he teamed with his longtime friend Alex Reynolds, who used the name Alex Keaton, in a Madison Square Garden match against Heavy Machinery, where he took the pin. Number 3. What did he think of his time in WWE? Many wrestlers have described the WWE backstage atmosphere as not ideal. Let's see what John had to say, and I quote, It's not a good feeling even though you're happy to do it. There are plenty of people who are nice, but there's also plenty that won't even look at you, like, you better not even go near them. Don't contact them or they'll bury you. It's a little too much. In all elite wrestling, I like when people come up to me and say who they are and introduce themselves. You're walking on eggshells constantly in WWE, and it's really not a fun thing to do, besides eat their catering. Doing extra work was awful there. Number 2. How he got signed by All Elite Wrestling. Once again I'm going to quote John. We finally get the call from QT Marshall and he says he wants to book us for All Elite Wrestling. We get there, and I see on the board it says proud and powerful versus local talent. And we were the local talent, but after the match, Matt Jackson came up to me and Alex, and he's very nonchalant when he talks. But he says what he means, and he's like, hey, maybe we'll bring you guys back every week, and every week you'll be the local talent who gets beat up, and that'll be your thing for a while. Eventually this led to them joining the Dark Order and the rest is history. Number 1. He's a massive being the elite star. Many people have appeared on the show, but very few have managed to leave a mark quite like Silver. He's easily one of the funniest guys, if not the funniest, and has offered us countless moments of laughter. Let's watch some of them. There's only one way to get this magic pumpkin back to being a human, and I wear this. What is it, John? Are you really oh my God. Are you? Ah, oh my God. John. John. Oh, John. Oh, John. Oh, John. John. All right, well, I, I do have one more. Okay, let's see it. My stem is so hard right now. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Well, I didn't see it because I was too busy watching Harry Potter. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give it here, Malfoy, or knock you off your broom. How about this one? Mr. Potter, it's me, Professor Snape. Oh, Lord of the Rings, but... Oh, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. What is going on? Wait, it's not, it's not what you think. Wait, We're no, just friends. We said no girls out. allowed. Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey, do you, do you want me to stay here? Do you want me to go over to that bed? 